And practice. On a two, three. Just like we saw screen there. Now, I know the short corner is supposed to be ball side, but only if that pass is made. Without the dribble penetration. If we are attacking with the ball, I don't want him running across there because we already have our wing dropping down, staying visible. Great job, Drew, knowing how to move. Instead, you are in the opposite corner there in case the roll gets the ball and needs to kick it out to you. So Wasim needs to be in the dunker spot on the opposite side of the ball instead of running ball side from the short corner position on the dribble penetration. But if the screener rolls to the same side block, Wasim needs to be in the same corner as the roll for the kickout. If the screen rolls to the high post, then Wasim can sit at the dunker spot. That's how you'll screen a sitting 2-3 zone, you know, when they're all just sitting inside the three-point line because they're inviting you to shoot. But if they're sort of like a matched up 2-3 and they're pressuring the ball and making them go to a certain side, you'll then have to bring that screen all the way up to the ball. Kind of like we show you in the 3-2 trap video. That's a beautiful screen by CD. Look at how much space he's given the ball. Keel needs to attack that two-in-one situation, and Chase needs to drop down to that corner, and that should be a layup or a three all day. If Keel can't get to the rim and has to kick it out, then I want him to rotate to the opposite wing, and that wing will fill up to the top spot. Same reason you don't go to the same spot when you're playing hide-and-seek. You move somewhere else, make it tough on the defense. Wasim does a great job at sitting in the opposite corner on the dribble penetration and not running ball side. Short corner, if you catch the ball and you were lower than the bottom line of the defense, you must attack that baseline. It is a bad thing for the defense if you get around him. If you're the dive and you see him attacking baseline, you must stop your dive and then rotate to the opposite dunker spot position for that option. And lastly, when all that's happening, when the baseline's driving, the weak side wing must drift to the sideline somewhere in between the free throw line extended and the baseline area.
I don't think you're ever gonna forget this rotation again, Q. Still love you, man. Talent has to be still locked in. Now let's think about this. I want him to screen, seal, and roll to the same side block. Now where do you think the short corner would be? I want him to sit in that corner when he sees this, and I'm going to be that option on that opposite block. He's going to be the kick out on that same side in the corner. If he doesn't get the ball on the roll, he must quickly get back to the high post. You must know how to move there on that wing. If the ball penetrates there and the defender steps up to stop the ball, you have to be the kick out, but you will not be the kick out if you are behind the ball, at least parallel or lower. Now, if Chase kicks the ball out to Keo and he doesn't take that shot, but instead he penetrates baseline, who do you think is going to be in the other corner in position? Baseline drive. You don't even need to drift to the sideline because he's already there, the short corner in Wasim. When Wasim sees the top pass and the potential ball reversal, he needs to not commit to running that baseline, but instead wait to see if he passes or attacks. If Kiwa attacks, he needs to be sitting on the dunker spot on the opposite side. And this is why. When the ball penetrates, Chase has to be visible, so he's going to drop down to the spot where Wasim would be running to normally, but Chase is already there because he's moving correctly when the ball penetrates. So I don't need Wasim there also. I need him on the opposite dunker spot. He does a great job of moving to that position when the ball is attacking, though. Uh-oh, somebody's running here. As soon as the short corner gets the ball, the dive from the elbow to the block has to be quick. If there's a mismatch, I would like him to sit on that, but if not, he needs to replace and go to the opposite short corner. I then want a second cutter from the top position there. That would be Chase in this case. If Chase does not get the basketball on his cut, then he will replace and fill for Drew. Drew will rotate up to where Chase was. But notice Kiel is attacking and he is taught well because any dribble penetration, when you pick up and pass, you must now rotate to the opposite wing. So they would all just rotate one more spot over, putting Chase where Keo is, and Keo where Drew is, and Drew where Chase was. Also, on this skip pass, Wasim needs to replace CD as the new high post, and CD needs to take the short corner on the other side. Tax base, tax base, tax base. This is literally the hardest position to play because CD needs to catch the ball strong here, go through his progressions, which are, do I have the lane, do I have the shot, and then pivot and find the opposite side it should not go to the same side here
great job, Kyo, attacking that space there. Also, notice where he replaced opposite wing. That's perfect movement. Oh shoot, Kiel forgot to be visible on the penetration. This is not advanced guys, this is the basic rotations of our high-low offense. I go over this in the first video. Drew and Kiel need to replace each other on that pass to the short corner. Sideline everybody. 